these rational equations this time. We have negative 4 over u squared minus 5u plus 6 equals 2u over u minus 2. So if we simplify, I always like to simplify first just in case. The denominator becomes u minus 2, u minus 3, and that's being equal to 2u over u minus 2. So conveniently, there's a u minus 2 on both the left and the right, so I can actually cross that out and make my job easier. But remember that u minus 2 is in the denominator of this expression. So we have to remember as we go through this problem that u cannot be 2. That is not going to be a, an allowable solution to this problem because it results in a 0 in the denominator. So after canceling out the u minus 2, it looks like we have an equation that says negative 4 over u minus 3 equals 2u. It's not going to use a cross multiplication type technique. 1 times negative 4 is negative 4. That's on this side. And on this side, we would have 2u multiplied by u minus 3. So negative 4 equals 2u squared minus 6u. Add 4 to both sides so that 0 equals 2u squared minus 6u plus 4. And then since all these numbers are even, I'm also going to divide by 2 to say that u equals or 0 equals u squared minus 3u plus 2. Okay, awesome. 0 equals u squared minus 3u plus 2. So I may factor what numbers multiply to 2 and add to negative 3. Well, that would be minus 2 and minus 1. All right. So that means that our two solutions are going to be u equals 2 or 1. So are we done? Not quite. Remember, u cannot be 2. So even though we found a solution of 2, that 2 is an extraneous solution. It doesn't actually work. So to submit, if you want full credit on an exam or a homework or something, we need to say that u equals 1. You're not allowed to say 1 or 2 because 2 doesn't actually work. So the moral of the story is make sure that you check your answers when you work with rational equations. Okay, why don't you pause the video and try to do this problem on your own. 18 over y squared minus 8y plus 15 equals negative 3y over y minus 3. So assuming you gave it a shot here, let's do it together. 18 over y minus 3 times y minus 5 equals negative 3y over y minus 3. So again, convenient cancellation, but now we need to remember that y cannot be 3. So if I end up getting an answer of 3, I have to neglect that one. I have to pretend it didn't work, or pretend it didn't exist, because it's an extraneous solution. Okay, so what do we have? We have 18 over y minus 5 equals negative 3y might as well treat that as over 1. Now cross multiplication would give us 18 equals negative 3y times y minus 5. So if I distribute now I'll have 18 equals negative 3y squared plus 15y. So now I'll move everything over to the left hand side. So we'll get a 3y squared minus 15y plus 18 equals 0. Can anyone see a GCF there? What could I divide by? Let's get rid of the common 3. Divide by 3 to give us 1. Divide by 3 for 5. And divide by 3 for 6. And so now we can factor it by thinking of what numbers multiply to 6 and add to negative 5, which would be y minus 2 and y minus 3. So again, y minus 2 and y minus 3. So what are the two solutions? Y could be either 2 or 3, but y cannot be 3. So the final answer we would submit here would be y equals 2 alone.